everyone, it's Maria here from pepperlyrose.blogspot.com.au. I am an independent stamp and up demonstrator from Sydney, Australia. Thank you all for joining me. Today I'm going to show you a fun card using um, a couple of techniques that have been around for a long time, but I'm just discovering them and I'm finding them heaps of fun. So I'm going to create a card with you featuring a sneak peek stamp set from this catalogue which is coming up on the 1st of June. So that's when you can order this but I'll show you uh, a, a project in advance so you are able to get excited and order this yourself once it becomes live. So I'll take this catalogue away and the stamp set we are featuring today is the Fabulous Flamingo. Love this stamp set. I got that at on stage as um, was a prize patrol. So what that means is um, during on stage, um, they ring out like a bell or something, and it's prize patrol time. So that means all the demonstrators there got this stamp set just for being there. So loads of fun if you want to become a demonstrator. Heaps and heaps of fun. So today I'm going to feature a card using the shaving cream technique, which has been around for years and years and years. But I think this technique will work great with this. Um, flamingo that I'm using today and I'm also going to emboss on acetate um, or transparency and basically I'm going to gold emboss on that so I'll see if I'll use that in the end but we'll just start on the project straight away so what I'll need what you'll need is a Bermuda Bay card base um, so it's just half an A4 and then I scored it down the middle and it becomes an A6 card base. So I'll just score this very quickly. And you will need a layering piece of Whisper White cardstock just to go on top there like that. So you just take a little bit off the edges there. And um, you'll need a piece of um, Whisper White cardstock which is about two and a half inches long. This, no, it's not two and a half inches long. Just hang on a second. Um, I'll just quickly measure that. It's okay, two and a half inches wide by four inches high. So four inches by two and a half inches. And that will just layer on here. And then I've got a piece of, um, I've got, you can use Stampin' Up's window sheet. I've got this uh, transparency film, which is able to go through a copier. What, why I chose that is because I'll show you one that I've done. That's this gold emboss, which will look stunning. So I've got this as a backup piece in case the one I do on camera doesn't work. But basically, I'm going to gold emboss the ferns from this stamp set. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful effect. Um, the reason why I chose the transparency for copiers is because they are able to withstand heat. I tried just regular transparency and that's the result. It just warps and it burns and it goes all hard and disgusting. So that's the effect. So I've just done the experiments beforehand. So we'll do this on camera today. Hopefully that works out. <laughs> and um, I think this technique will be beautiful. So what we'll do to start off with is we're going to stamp the flamingo. So I'm going to grab some just some copy paper, some scrap copy paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp first and foremost this image here. And I'm using an old color and it's called Regal Rose, but it's the closest color I have to Flirty Flamingo. I don't have Flirty Flamingo color yet, but that's the color you should be using in current Stampin' Up! color. So I'm just gonna ink this up because this is the closest color I have. but. Flirty Flamingo is a far better colour. That's a colour that I kept bumping off and never thought I'd need. And now that the flamingos come out, <laughs> I'm going to like it. So anywho, I'm just going to stamp this just like so. Right on there. I'll start off with that image because I just think, I'll try and stamp that again. The legs didn't work out very well. Let's do that again. Hopefully that I line it up properly and not muck it up and give shadows and what have you. So I'll just quickly do that. Hopefully I've got it exact. 
and there's a bit of a shadow so I'm going to turn it over and start that again <laughs> sorry guys so I'll just I start off with this one because I think it just gives a nice uh, base so let's do that again I'm going to wipe let's make sure I ink it up well because this is the older style pad too so the colors not coming as nicely okay so I'll just quickly stamp that Make sure I've got it and stamp. Just give it a good press to make sure that all of the colour is transferred onto the piece of cardstock. And that is much better. <laughs> okay, the next colour I'm going to use is some Blushing Bride. And it's this image over here, which just provides a lighter pink image. So I'm just going to stamp that first. So guys, I apologize in advance. This is going to be a long video because there's a few techniques I'm going to go through. So I'll just line this up as best I can. And stamp. Okay, that turned out fantastic. Love that. It's beautiful. Okay, the next thing I'm going to stamp is the outline and I'm going to do that in gold. I'm going to get my um, Versamark ink pad and I'm going to grab that image of the flamingo. Oh, and before I do that, I had better grab my embossing buddy and I'm just going to quickly rub that over the whole image oops okay so I'm just going to stamp this part here so I'll line it up as best I can so it's not out of whack I might stand up for this actually so I make sure I stamp over the top accurately so just line that up okay stamp okay and then I'm going to stamp the legs which are just here so grab those I don't have enough blocks to to, um, to use, so I'll just quickly use that. Actually, I'll lay it down there first so it relaxes, then I'll pop that on so I don't warp it because it's a bit skinny. Okay, and I'm just going to change it over this way. Make sure I ink that up well. And stamp that over the top so just bear with me whilst I line this up hopefully I got it right okay and now I'm just going to grab some gold embossing powder I have mine in a container it just makes it easy for me to pop this on so I'll just that on wow I love pink and gold together I think it looks amazing even if it is off slightly it doesn't worry me I can always go over the top with the lighter color and just fill it out a bit so that's what I will probably end up doing make sure I get all of the color on there the embossing powder okay so that's just absolutely perfect so I'll just give it a good flick make sure I get rid of all of the excess and so now I'm going to grab my heat tool so I apologize for the noise in advance so lower your volume just heating it up for a minute just to make sure that it's hot and I'll just go from underneath 
you'll just watch it go gold. Watch that now. Turn it over a little bit. So that is now embossed in gold, which looks awesome. I love it in gold, just love it. So I'll just pop this to one side and help it to dry out a little bit. But I think it looks great, don't you? Look at that. Perfectly gold embossed. Love it. Okay, I'm going to grab now a plastic plate. I'm going to do the shaving cream technique. And as I said, it's a very old, it's an old technique, not very old. I've got some, just a cheap plastic plate that I get from the supermarket. Super duper cheap, um, very inexpensive. And I've just got some disposable um, plastic knives. And I've got the cheapest shaving foam, um, home brand, $2.30 for a can. So I'm just going to quickly shake that up. And I'll just, this is the stuff, I love it. I'm just going to spread it around a little bit with the knife. It smells nice too. Hmm, delicious. <laughs> so it's like we're cooking here. <laughs> I love it. So much fun. Okay. So this is cheap. Like it's not expensive at all. Like it's a cheap technique. And all you need is a few drops of, um, of you know, Reinkers. So today I'm going to use Bermuda Bay and Pool Party. So I'll just put a few drops of each. Just spread it around a little. Okay. And so that's Pool Party. And then I'm going to get my Bermuda Bay Reinker. I'll do the same there. Just make it go around, okay, not too much because I'd like the lighter colour to come through. And then you just grab your knife and we'll just do a little swirly pattern like that. How cool is this, honestly? So mine's serrated, <laughs> but that looks, that's awesome, right? Don't over mix it. And then I'm just going to grab my, this is very messy. Actually, I'll just put my plastic, I've got a plastic um, craft mat that I'll put underneath there just to keep the mess in one place. I'll just put the knife there. And I'll just grab that layering piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm just going to place it over the top. And I'll just press it in. Okay, and then I pull it off and that's what you get. So it's a bit of a gloopy mess. I'll just put, put this away. So that's the mess you get. And so now I'm just going to get my paper towel and I'm just going to hold on to one of the corners there and just wipe away. How beautiful does this look, honestly? Wipe away. Wow. That looks awesome. I absolutely love that background. So I'll just grab another, oops, tissue. Made a very big mess here, but it's so much fun. <laughs> Loads and loads of fun. So I'll just wipe off the excess and I'll leave that to dry. But that is just awesome. I love it. I love this technique. It's so much fun and it's so cheap too. Oh, what a mess. Wipe that up quickly. Okay, so that's great. So now I'm just going to wipe off my mess off my fingers. 
Okay, and I've just got blue mess everywhere. Loads of fun. <laughs> so much fun. So it's a little bit wet. So what we can do, like it's a bit damp from the shaving cream. So what we can do is we can grab the um, heat tool and we'll just heat it up a little bit just to dry it off a bit. Dry it off. It is flammable. I think it says it's flammable. Gas. So just give it a quick, 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 quick. Don't over, we might go on fire if you overheat it, but yeah, there we go. Just give it a quick heat and it's um, nice and dry. Okay, so that's this done. So now I'll pop this on there. Wow, doesn't that look awesome? I just love that as a background, so cool. Okay, we'll grab our stamped image that we did before and we're just going to do some more stamping. I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay stamp, uh, sorry, no, I'll use Pool Party to start off with. And I'm going to stamp the water image that's from here. I'm going to stamp that water image down the bottom. So I'll just stamp it right down the bottom. Okay, and it looks like that. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. And I might stamp one more stamp off and just stamp this. So that looks like it's walking in quite a bit of water. So that's that one there. Then I'm going to use my Bermuda Bay ink pad and I'm going to ink up this little set of grass. So stamp that there and then I'll stamp off and I'll go there. Okay, isn't that gorgeous? And then I'm going to grab my basic black, uh, sorry, not basic black, my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'm going to stamp the word thanks, which is again from this stamp set, which is just beautiful. Just that one there, it says thanks. I'm going to ink that up in Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm going to take that scrap away, and I'm going to use the table as a guide somewhat ink that up well and I'll just stamp that over there so it says thanks isn't that great I love this so cool just super cool okay so now I'll just bring back my card base and I really love that background I think it adds a nice touch but I would like to add my embossed acetate. So I just want to see how that will turn out and I'll show you how it's done on camera so you get an idea. So I might do that here and pop that over there. Mm. I think that adds a very nice touch, don't you? Very tropical looking. Now let's see if it works better this way. Hang on a second. No, the other way was better. Okay, so we'll do it this way. Okay. And for interest, I'm going to add a, um, a piece of Bermuda Bay behind that. Or pool party. Mm -hmm. Let me think. I think I'll add some more Bermuda Bay. No, pool party. I'll add some more pool party. In. Uh, sorry, cardstock. Just bear with me and I'll just bring some. Okay, I'm back. I just had a little fiddle with the design. So what I did was I cut a piece of um, pool party cardstock, which is a quarter of an inch um, larger than this panel. So you can do this any uh, measurements you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some fast views on the back of um, the flamingo. And I'm just going to pop that right over the top of this. So it looks like that. Super cool. Okay. So um, as I've said, I've already done this, but I am going to do it uh, on camera for you to see. So I'm just going to pop this to one side and I'm just going to grab a piece of 
just transparency paper film so this is the one I got I found this on sorry not on but I found this at office works and it's called no bow and it's uh, just transparency film so if you can use this in a copier so that means that it can take a little bit of heat as I said before if you don't use a heat resistant type um, acetate or window sheet you end up with this um, hard mess so it's really important I know I've seen videos with Stampin' Up's uh, window sheets and you can do the heat embossing on that so I'll show you on camera how to heat emboss and I'll probably change the, the pattern that I've used here for the um, the fern so what you'll need to do as with all embossing is you need to use your embossing buddy and you do that over the top of the transparency I know it's a little hard to see on camera but hopefully this, this has picked up for you so I've got the fern image which is this one over here and I'm going to get my uh, sorry my Versamark ink pad and I'm just going to start stamping oh <laughs> wow okay so on this side all right so started there okay just do it from me I'll just re do this again put the powder again because it flicked off and onto my <laughs> onto my Versamark ink pad which defeats the purpose so anywho let's start this again so I'll just do here there we go and you can't see it right now but I am hoping that this will turn out well I can somewhat see it but it's a little difficult because it is clear but I'll show you once I'm done what it looks like just rotate it around and I'll just do that up there okay all right so I'll just grab my gold embossing powder again and I'll open it up okay and I'm just going to now start pouring the embossing powder over the top of the transparency so I'll just grab that quickly So as you can see, there we go, starting to look good. See, there. So I'll just keep putting the powder on just bit by bit. I don't have a lot of gold powder left, so that's one thing I have to buy next for my next order, which I'm very excited about. It won't be long. Just like you, I can't order everything in the catalogue, so I'm going to be super excited to place an order for some new goodies can't wait and I love flamingos they're very on trend at the moment so I think we've covered the transparency really really well so we're going to start now embossing with the heat tool and I'll let you in on some tips with the heat tool when you're embossing just make sure that you heat it up first a little bit and then you move it around because if you keep it in one place for too long it will warp for you so I'll just wipe off any excessive um, powder that shouldn't be there and now I'm just going to start heating the embossing tool the heat tool and I'll just quickly move it around And as you can see, it just starts to emboss. Just be careful when you hold it that you don't um, ow. Just <laughs> make sure you don't burn your fingers off like I am right now and try and move it around as much as you can. And I do it from the underside, I just find it's easier. That way it doesn't blow off. Ow. Just quickly emboss one side. Just 
just quickly move it around. Ow, ow. <laughs> I'm burning my fingers off, guys. So just be really, really careful with this. But I'll tell you what, the result is totally worth it. So I just emboss it a little bit, let it go, and then I do it again. And do that again. Okay, one side into the boss. Good. Now I've got more of a chicken. Um, I can hold it a little bit better. I just move it around. Move it around. Okay, it's warped already on me, so mm, I've got it on too long because it's I didn't leave myself enough room to hold on to it, so do that. Make sure that you Okay. That has now embossed. So let it cool down for a minute, but whilst it's still a little bit warm, maybe give it a little push in the right direction without touching the gold embossing image. I'll just warp it around a bit. So much fun this technique and I like how you can make your stamp sets go further you know it's awesome. Okay so we will stick this down so it'll be okay. So I'll just heat that a little bit more there's bits that uh, were on the verge of um, of melting and they did it. There we go got it and there's a bit here got it and then got it Oops, got it again okay so now with a bit more heating too I was managed to straighten it out a bit so there's the embossed acetate isn't that beautiful so beautiful okay um, just hold on one sec guys I've got the battery light flashing for some reason and I'll be back Okay, I'm back. So what we're going to do now is we are going to put together the card. So I'll just bring up all the all the card bits and pieces on there. So what I'll do first and foremost is I'm going to attach the acetate here. So to do that, I'm just going to attach it right on the side there. So to do that, I am going to just use some fast fuse. So I'll just um, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Put that out a bit more. Okay. I think that's going to be great. I love this card already. All right, so I'll just grab some fast views and we'll just put fast views um, where the images are. Okay, and just like vellum, so I'll just attach this on now. And I'll pop this like so over the top. So that looks like that. Isn't that great? Love this. Then I'm going to grab some dimensionals and I'll just pop up the flamingo image. So I'll just grab some dimensionals. Oh, actually, before I do that, I better trim these off. I'll just grab my paper snips. Sorry about that. Okay, just grab the paper snips. And I'll just trim that all off. that right off so now our piece has that little bit of embossed acetate on there so I'll just add some fast fuse on the back of that panel 
and by the way with the shaving cream now it's nice and dry so it doesn't take long to dry you can air dry it or just pass the heat tool over it very very quickly and it should be right so I'll just now angle that on nicely okay and then I'm just going to put some dimensionals on the back of that so I'll just grab those come out Oops, took out one more than I should have. Pop it back. And now I'll just take off the backings of the dimensionals. Oop. Come off. Normally I can get these off in a flash. <laughs> Not today. So now I'll just pop this on. To leave a little bit of a gap up there and there because I love that shaving cream technique it's so much fun alrighty and that is my card all completed we can decorate the inside but that's just going to take too long so there you go here is my shaving cream and gold embossed acetate using the beautiful up-and-coming fabulous flamingo stamp set so I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask and you can contact me through my online store at pebblyrose.blogspot. Oh no, pebblyrose.stampinup.net and you can go to my blog um, if you wish at pebblyrose.blogspot.com and have a look at all my other previous videos and tutorials and ideas. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I'm sorry it went for a little while but it is so much fun and um, yeah I'm just rediscovering that shaving cream technique and I absolutely love it. I'm becoming addicted now. So have a great day everyone and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.